Los buenos estudiantes día. Mi nombre es Señor Milton Thompson y soy superintendente uh, del Distrito Escolar de la Comunidad de Pulaski. Quería uh, hablar con usted acerca de aprender cosas uh, que son uh, difíciles. Let me translate. Hello. Uh, good day, students. My name is Melton Thompson. I'm the superintendent of the Pulaski Community School District. Uh, I want to talk with you about the difficulty of learning new things. And I started this talk in Spanish because I have committed myself to learning Spanish. Uh, some of the Spanish teachers probably winced as I was trying, trying to pronounce certain words. But I have committed that over the next three years, I am going to become fluent in Spanish to where I can carry on normal conversations with people and make up the conversations uh, and make them genuine, not things like, hey, where is the bathroom? Or pass me the tamale? Or look, there is an ant on the floor. You know, I'd like to be able to carry on a regular conversation, not just a canned conversation. So, uh, when I was a student, I had difficulty with certain things. Math was one of them. I remember in high school having trouble with the geometry. I didn't understand geometry, and unfortunately, my math teacher was a math genius who didn't sympathize with people who had difficulty in learning things and only had one or two ways of explaining uh, certain geometric proofs and problems. And so I struggled. Now, as an adult, when I pick up a ge geometry book, I understand the logic behind the proofs and believe that with a teacher that was more patient, I probably wouldn't have struggled as much. I also can remember being in plays and musicals and the hard work that it took to repeat lines and to work on uh, saying lines with humor or singing with uh, the proper emphasis on certain words and, and just the practice that it took for all of that. And some of those things were hard and difficult. And there were times that I wanted to give up. I can also remember taking a German class in college and the German was very, very hard for me and getting a D, and I wasn't used to getting Ds, and I had to work very hard to even achieve that D. German was a hard language to learn. So I would like to give you a few tips on how to learn things and how to learn things that are difficult. The first is don't be afraid to try new things. Most of us stay within our comfort zones. We only do the things that we're comfortable with, we don't like to appear foolish to other people. We always like to pretend that we're good at things and like we're experts. And that's not true, and especially when you're learning something new. So you've got to resolve in your mind you're not going to be afraid to learn new things. Second of all, be willing to push past the tendency that all of us have that when something becomes difficult, we just want to give up. If you're going to learn something new and if you're going to be good at learning something new, you're going to have to resolve in your own mind that you are not going to give up, especially when it gets tough. Someone said when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Third thing, set a goal. I have set a goal that I am going to become fluent in Spanish uh, over a three-year period. I purchased an online subscription to Rosetta Stone. The subscription is for three years, and by the end of three years, I will be able to carry on a conversation with any native Spanish speaker without them laughing at me. I also, after mastering Spanish for three years, I intend to move on to German for three years, and then when I retire, I intend to set a goal of playing the piano and being able to play any music that is of interest to me and any music that I like. I have moved from one set of goals to the other throughout my life, 
and I intend to keep doing that. So you set a goal and then you commit yourself to that goal and you don't give up. Finally, you have to decide that learning is fun. See, for some people, learning isn't fun. They've set themselves up with a negative attitude and they believe that they're not smart enough to learn something new or they're not talented enough to learn something new. Uh, as I've grown older and become more confident in things, I've come to the conclusion that I have the talents and the intelligence to do a lot of things that I have hidden talents that I don't even, haven't even discovered yet. So instead of uh, having a fear of learning, I've decided to have the attitude that learning's fun. As I'm sitting here in the middle school library, I'm apt to pick up an atlas and learn about new countries and to always increase the amount of knowledge that I have because I have decided that learning's fun. Even learning difficult things is fun. So again, as I'm learning Spanish, I'm sure that there's something that you're struggling to learn as well. I would tell you, don't be afraid, don't give up, and set a goal for yourself, and of course, remember that learning new things is fun.